Hello guys and welcome back to Trouble in Mineville. Now you may be wondering what this is. This is a Minecraft variant of the awesome and uh, increasingly popular Gary's mod or G mod uh, game type, I guess you could say. Trouble in Terrace Town, one that I have played a lot of my uh, myself, but actually haven't done like videos on. I never did a stream. I know I think I did do a stream of it for a bit once, but I never did any videos on it. I did contemplate it. But uh, there were kind of too many going around, so I never did one. But now that it is Minecraft, you kind of know I have to do this. So I have logged onto the server for the second time. This is my second time on here. The first time was, you know, just to kind of get a feel of it, see what I was working with. And um, this is also, by the way, by the uh, Team Vareed, I guess you could say. Or Team Varide, I guess you could also say. Again, you know how I have trouble pronouncing the guy's name. But he is awesome. He is very, very awesome. He's the guy who has created the... Um, all of the Hunger Games freaking maps, which I love, and I do way too many videos on, and you guys love because you love my challenges, so it's all cool. So here's the guy who has uh, made this server, I think with someone called uh, Crank someone? Crank, yeah, definitely Crank something. But uh, that is who are the co-owners. That They are the co-owners. I can't speak today, which is very annoying. <laughs> Can you tell I'm a little tired? But I do like playing games and I'm tired. So this is the Trouble in Mindville server. They have a lot of servers, actually. So, they're kind of, again, consider it to basically the Hunger Games, really. If you go on the survival servers, the big automated ones, you'll know um, kind of the system of it. There's loads of servers. You get in a lobby, and eventually, if you get in, the game will start, which is what we're doing right now. We are waiting for the game to start. Now, I'll give you a rundown of basically what the game type is. Just so you have an idea, if you haven't played Trouble in Terrorist Town or really don't know what's going on. Because otherwise you might be a little confused. Although actually a lot of it is described in the chat. Now, this is pretty much featureful. It's got all the same features that the actual Gmod game has. Uh, and I've got 2 minutes 30 seconds to describe this, which shouldn't be bad. Now, what you do is uh, you wait until the game has started and you are either assigned... A, you're assigned kind of like a tag or a, a mission, I guess you could say. And you are either innocent or the traitors. Now, the traitors know who the other traitors are, and there's a small group of them. And the innocent don't know who the traitors are, but there's a big group of them. Now, the innocent's mission is to kill all the traitors, and the traitors' mission is to kill all the innocents. Obviously, the traitors have a bit of an advantage over it, as they know who to kill. And they can go and sneak off, and, you know, they can play tactics to make other people look like traitors. But the innocent are in bigger numbers, so... It, I don't think it would be fair to say it evens out, but it's definitely a very, very tricky game, and it's one of those games that really plays on your subconscious. Like, you, you're you always looking for who the traitors are if you're the innocent, and it's it's very, very, very nerve-wracking. I have a lot of fun with it. That's why I enjoyed the Gmod version so much. Now, there's also another tag, and that is the detective, and that is assigned to one person. Uh, actually, well, no, sometimes it's a small group of people as well, although I'm not sure what the case of that is on the Minecraft version just yet. Uh, but that is the detective. And that is pretty much a higher ranking innocent. The detective is always innocent, but you've got like a stick, I think it's used in Minecraft this time. And you can actually kind of get more information on who killed people because dead bodies stick around. So you could, you're the one who the innocent kind of go for to kind of sleuth it out and figure out who the traitors are. So it's a very, very, very tense kind of game type. And uh, I'm really glad it's in Minecraft now. I'm really excited. I could kind of tell it would be. Like, um, the the kind of trend with things now is, you know, a popular game will come along and there'll be a Minecraft variant of it, which is just awesome. Because it's extending Minecraft's life by so much. Even though Minecraft isn't dying out by any rate soon, it's just extending it. And that is, uh, in my eyes, that is so, so fantastic. So I'm going to skip to when the game starts now, although... It will, well, no, it'll only be 30 seconds, so I'll keep this in. So I'm really excited to play. Now, uh, you don't spawn with anything. You've got to find your weapons. I think they're in the form of chests. You just right-click on it, and the chest will disappear, and you'll get a sword. Um, now, the one thing I'm quite unsure about is in the actual game type in, of Trouble in Terrorist Town, You ha if you were a traitor, you could actually kind of, when you killed someone or, like, your teammates killed someone, you get a point, and that could be used to buy kind of terrorist-only items that help you kill other players. I know there is a point system, but I'm not sure if uh, if that's actually in and like you can actually buy stuff yet. So that'll be interesting to see. Okay, so I'll get this chest. I have got 32 arrows, but I do not have a freaking bow, which is annoying. But uh, I will try and find one. Oh, by the way, I think when people die, they do give uh, items. They they drop their items. I think. I'm not sure. Though, mm, damn it, I should have gone for that one up there. 
You know what? I'm going to try and go get it anyway. I would have liked to have uh, got a sword. On a... Wait, how do I get up there? I don't know. I think it was probably that iron door. Uh, so it looks like you can't take damage until the start of the uh, round, which is nice. And I'm not sure about running either, like food meter. But that's pretty cool. Now, yeah, the thing you want to do is you really want to watch the chat. Because when someone dies, you can kind of like investigate their body. And it will tell you if they're innocent or if they were a traitor. So you know you've taken a traitor out or not. Um, and there's a traitor tester which will kind of tell you if you are or not. So that's pretty cool. Um, so you kind of want to watch all these. Now, in the chat, it says, I am an innocent. Find out who the traitors are and kill them. Do not randomly kill people. Do not be a douchebag. And uh, this is the traitor tester here. I didn't actually know where it was, which is pretty cool. And uh, what does it randomly say? And the detective is Epic Taco Cat. Okay, who's attacking me? Mabella. Mabella, what you doing? Anyway, I'm going to go on the traitor tester. Oh, no. Wow, loads of people going in it. Oh, I hate it when people kind of like this. They had this issue in um, in the game as in the normal game as well. So many people wanted to be traitor tested, just they know that they're not. Basically, what happens here is you'll get in it and it will tell the people if you are or not. Now, of course, this is a complete giveaway as to if you're going to be a traitor or if you're innocent. So if you are a traitor, you kind of want to play it off like, oh no, there's no point me getting in there, or say, you know, I've already been in there. Come on, what are you talking about? Like that. It's a very tactical game. Okay. Oh, just someone. <laughs> okay, there we go. Jeez, Louise the bees. Anyway, how to use the trade tester. Subject steps inside the machine. Subject pushes button. Piston will trap in for 10 seconds. Light will turn on if subject is traitor. And if not, uh, they will be innocent. So that's pretty much how it works. I'm going to try and wait around and just prove my innocence to everyone. I've got a bow now so I can attack. But uh, I kind of want to be proven that I'm innocent to everyone so we know and we can team up. Because th this game brings a lot of kind of different fun. Um, you've got the fun of being sneaky, you've got the fun of being completely... Oh god, uh, why am I taking damage? You've got the fun of com being completely innocent and trying to figure out who everyone else is. Hold on, I'll type in I'm confirmed. There we go. So people know that I am innocent. Now, I don't know how they made the plugin for this. This is awesome. But uh, it's very, very awesome. And oh yeah, and the blue kind of means he is a... Uh, he is the detective. The blue is detective. He's kind of got like a detective skin on. I kind of like it. It's like an Elvis style thing with a... Uh, with... A, 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 a... What? Okay, we're back after that crash. Uh, it actually ended up being a server-wide crash. All the servers were down. I don't know whether it was uh, an issue with the server host or the website or whatever, but yeah, I guess you can kind of expect that. This is obviously in the... I think it's actually the launch weekend of this server, so everyone's kind of wanting a piece, and it's it's going to be overloaded, so I, you know you can't blame them. Anyway, it's actually quite good because we ended up getting a world skip, and we are now able to look at another map. Which, uh, I know while we didn't get to finish the last game, it's kind of okay. Because in this case, you know, we get to we get to view some more awesome stuff. And uh, the maps by this guy are absolutely awesome, by the way, may I just add. So, it's okay with me. Anyway, I want to find a chest. I want to find, like, a sword this time. Come on, where's the sword, bro? No, people will have been there. Anyone up here? Yeah, this guy's just been up here. He's raided it. Damn it. Ah, got to go where people aren't, you know, then you... And then you get the chests, because people take it otherwise. Oh, that's really annoying. Okay, you got to be careful on this one. I feel like I'm on Sky Survival again. you got to be careful, otherwise I'm going to drop. And knowing, like, uh, knowing my record with that, uh-oh, we are in for quite a game. <laughs> oh, I fool way too much on the map. Come on, I don't want to be... I don't. Wanna, I really want to be a trader, but I don't want to be a trader without a weapon. Because then it's tricky. That's where it gets really tricky. Although it'd be quite fun to be a trader on a video. Um, also, by the way, guys, tell me if you want more of this. Um, I would gladly do this. Okay, I am innocent. So that gives me a bit more time to kind of get my bearings, get my weapons down, you know, all of that thing. Okay, less rushing is needed. But uh, tell me if you'd like to see me play a couple rounds of this. I'm really enjoying it. I think it would make a good video. And, uh, you know, I'd love to hear your feedback on it. So do it, as always. As I, I kind of say that with them whenever I do, like, a server overview. But uh, I think you guys might enjoy this. So please let me know. Anyway, I want to actually finish this game and see if we can get the traders. Come on, then. Um, also, actually, yeah, something I forgot to mention. These guys do have a team speak. If you know, if you ever played the Gmod version, damn, players are going down right now. Uh, if you ever played the Gmod version, you will know that uh, the um, kind of chat voice feature was a big part because it would actually kind of, you'd kind of have like people people acting in it and stuff. And you know me, I'm kind of, I like a bit of acting. I, I'm a scholar of acting at my school. If you didn't know that, fun Yoshi fact. 
So, um, you know, I, I kind of liked that. And they do have TeamSpeak servers to replicate that in-game. So if you want to join their TeamSpeak servers, kind of get some chatting going on and deceive some people, then go for it because they have those. Again, all of this will be able able to be viewable. I, I, I kind of screwed up the way I was forming that sentence and I tried to play it off and it really didn't work. All of this will be viewable and the information will be accessible on their website, their TeamSpeak, the server list, all of that good stuff. Uh, which I will put in the description as always, so don't forget to check that out. Anyway, without kind of trying to make the whole video sound like an outro, which it kind of is right now, let's, uh, let's damn play this game. I want to get over there. That looks awesome. I don't think you can get over there, but I want to get over there anyway. It'd be fun. Okay. Um, is there a tester? Not testing on this map. See if people do, because I want to get tested, prove myself as an innocent, and then we can take these traders down, son. Well, there's only 30, 13 people left. I was gonna say 30 people left. Uh, where at, my friend? Where at? Okay. Anyone up here? I don't want to be alone with anybody, because they might be a traitor, and then I might die. That wouldn't be good. I think if I stay with people, then it's kind of whoa. Oh, okay, that was full damage. I think if I stay with people, then it's pro- Ah, sword! Then it's proving my innocence. But, uh, yeah. Also, actually, I forgot to totally tell you. Um, yep. Who is talking to me? Okay, cool. Rogue Creeper. Here we go, let's go this. Um, in the actual game type, again, as I said, you know, I think I said this in the start. Um, although, sh should I follow this guy? He might lead me to my death. Um, one of the features was that you could not have more than one kind of weapon at a time. You could have a primary and a secondary. Uh, the same pretty much follows with this. You can't have a uh, bow and arrow and a sword, I believe. So if you want to pick up a bow, you've got to drop your sword, which is, I think, why I found this. So that's quite an interesting fact. Okay, right, let's do this. I'm going in. I'm going in, going in, going in, going in. Because my daddy taught me good. I'm backing the hell out of there. And I'm like, oh my god. Oh my god, my god. Don't know why I'm singing this song. But it's damn catchy. Okay. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Bro, what you doing? What you doing, bro? Why are you attacking me, my friend? Um, yeah, I don't think food goes down either. Because I, I would have noticed it by now. I'm pretty sure. Okay. If the lights come on, this guy's down. We're knocking them down. Keep an eye on the lamp. Kind of nervous. He's fine. Okay, cool. Oh, it's getting tense in here. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Who's going down? Who are we taking? Oh, fuck it. Screw it, screw it, screw it. Oh, what? 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 Who? Oh, and okay, I guess screw that motion. Or that motion? That notion of not being able to have more than one weapon at a time. Um, I've got lots. I didn't think you could. I've seen videos of people dropping and picking up other stuff. Maybe this server's glitching. I don't know. But, um, yeah, I didn't think you could. That's something in the game. They might add that later. I don't trust him. Who was that, though? Who was attacking? Who was attacking? I don't know. Oh, I've got some arrows, though. Thank you for the arrows. kind of want to regen my health as well. I like that you can get health regen on this because of your food, you know? So that's nice. That's That's really nice. So if someone goes rogue and figures out you're innocent and they don't mean to attack you, you can still have a good chance of staying in the game. Okay. I don't think I trust this guy. He kind of came out of nowhere. I don't know. Hmm. Let me just not have anything equipped. Let me be neutral. Let me take it chilled. I like your hoodie, my, my good sir, my good man. Don't know, don't know why I said my good sir. That's not exactly the way you're meant to say that phrase. But hey, I'm redefining words, son. What you know about that? Epic meal time reference! Kind of weird, but okay. Okay, who have we got left? I think everybody left is here, which is good. But it also kind of makes the whole moment really tense. Oh, who fired? Who's firing? Where's... Where, is any... I think we can kind of, like, assume now that if... Um, there's someone who isn't here and they're kind of like high up like over there maybe in fact is that someone that is i was even i was kidding blue hoodie who's that um i was kidding but if there's someone away from the group they might be a traitor i was totally kidding and i just randomly looked in that direction and there was actually someone up there 
That's uh, really, really, really weird. I do. <laughs> I was like, maybe someone, you know, up there, and I, I just look, and there's someone there. That's really odd. Oh, I need, I need uh, Optifine installed. I keep meaning to install Optifine. I can't zoom in and see people's names. Although, would that be count? Well, no, I don't think it would be counted cheating because you could do that on Trouble in Terrace Town if you had like a sniper. So, no, it's not cheating. It's not cheating. Although I still don't trust that blue hoodie. Still don't trust that, and he's gone. Where is he? Hmm. Hmm. That's suspicious. That's very suspicious. So I, I'm going to assume that Taco, Trev, and Garnet are uh, are completely innocent, and I, I would like to think that they are, but I do not trust Blue Hoodie. Hmm. We got seven people left. Interesting. Interesting. The plot thickens. <laughs> Why did I do a vampire noise? That has no references. That has no references at all. I keep taking damage. I'm thinking, ah, oh, someone's attacking me. No, it's me doing stupid full damage. Hope derp. What's going on here? Wait, is there still a detective? Still a detected. Why am I spelling horribly? Detective alive. Is that how you... What? I think... I think I just forgot how to spell. Uh... It's... That's not how you spell... Oh god, I'm... I... Uh, what? I think I just had a brain hemorrhage. I... I... Oh, what? I can't read words! What the hell? Okay, hold up. Okay, okay, that... What? Yeah... <laughs> Okay, I'm going to go see this guy to the trader tester. I'm really confused. I am really confused. I kind of forgot how to read and spell there for a second. Whoa! Whoa! Whoa, this guy's trader. This guy's trader. In fact, they might be traders together. They might be te- Ah, damn! They might be teaming up. Damn it, I think they teamed up. Definitely. That, uh, that was kind of smart. Actually, yeah. Or is it? Yeah, CD is as well, or COD, or whatever his name is, the, the guy over there. Damn. Wait, the innocent have won? What? Oh, so it was just him, COD wasn't. Or CD24 Taylor. Damn. Ah, oh, we lost because that one guy was really sneaky. Although I don't know why CD didn't defend me. That was kind of annoying. Thanks for the backup, sir. Anyway, so that is Trouble in Mineville. I keep wanting to say Trouble in Terrace Town, but... uh. I'll adjust to it soon. A really, really awesome server mod, and uh, I'm really glad I found this. Um, I really like doing these server kind of overviews. The last one we did, for example, was the Team Fortress 2 one, but I really had no idea what I wanted to do next, and I couldn't find anything, so I'm really glad this popped up for video making, but I'm really going to have fun playing this just on my spare time. So as I said earlier in the video, if you guys do want to see me play a bit more of this on my channel as a video, maybe show you some matches, maybe do a live stream of it or something. Um, feel free to tell me. Tell me in the comments right now. I, re I do read all my comments, and uh, I will take your advice into consideration. So, as always, guys, thank you for joining me. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. And until next time, I'll see you later. Bye, guys.